Hello Stalkers, in this video I'm going to show you some of the best mods for Warfare mode. Some of these mods are a bit old and some are quite new. As you may notice, the Stalker Anomaly is now officially version 1.53. That means that we don't have to download extra patches when we install this mod. It's all just one download and that's it. 1.53 has some minor few fixes, but mostly fixes for models and textures. So if you're still on 1.52, don't worry as many new mods will still work on your version. Anyway, let's start with the must-have mods for Warfare mode. Warfare A Life mode is an overhaul and it improves Warfare mode. First of all, it makes Warfare mode perform a lot better and it also has a lot more features. For example, if a fender dies, it gets replaced by another. It also has a feature where you can call for backup when you have cleared one of the sectors. Anyway, if you want more details on Warfare ALAF mod or Warfare mod, check out my Warfare guide video at the end of this one. Another mod that goes hand in hand with Warfare ALAF mod is Warfare Traders Ignore Combat. This mod removes the aggro that traders have and traders will not engage in combat. This prevents them from taking damage and dying. But it can also prevent the game from crashing, because if these traders die, the game can sometimes crash. This can happen a lot, especially in Rostock for example. This is why I recommend you to use this mod. These two mods are very basic and they work very well together, since I have been using them for a few months, never had any issues in warfare mode. Next mod we're going with a bit more RPG elements, we're going to use classes and talents mod. This mod allows your character to choose a class that can give him an advantage. For example, you like sniping and long range engagements, then you can take the sniper class, which allows you to move more quickly, do more damage with a sniper, a pistol or an SMG, but it also penalizes you with 10% less carry weight. It's really fun customizing your character and leveling its skills. I actually was happy to see that Anomaly Custom was using it, so good job on adding this mod to that mod pack. Very important to have MCM menu installed, you need to assign a special key to open and close the classes and talents menu. You don't need to start a new game, yes it works on a previous game that you might have. Level up your character just like any RPG out there. If you shoot and do damage, you will level up your weapon skills. And if you take damage, you will level up your defense skills. You can also level up your trading skills by selling or buying merch from the traders. It's very balanced mod and it keeps you engaged on your character. Have you ever wanted to be a sabotager or a pyromaniac in Stalker? Well, don't worry because you can use Remote Controlled Explosive Mode, which allows you to place explosives and then remote detonate them with the radio device. This is really useful if you want to set up an ambush or blow up something. The mod will allow IEDs and other explosive devices to be placed with a remote detonator option. When using your radio, you can blow it up using the grenade launcher key button. You can also set multiple explosives using different frequencies. First, set your radio frequency to the hertz that you like. Then place the bomb. And then change the frequency again and place another bomb. Once you are done, all you have to do is switch between these frequencies and BOOM! Additionally, you can pick up explosive that you placed by crouching down and pressing the pickup button. And you can also pick up explosive that use the proximity option, because crouching and walking slowly to them will not make them explode. Also, IEDs and mines are now marked on your PDA, so you can remember where you left them. This mod is very useful not only in warfare mode, but also in story mode. Next mod is the hand gesture system. This mod adds animations when you are giving commands to your followers, which is very immersive. In Warfare mode you will have a lot of followers to command. It is really fun and tactical mod to have. Every command makes your stalker make a different animation. You can also add a radio effect sound that is provided by the mod. 
And additionally, you can also find more radio effects on the mod the B site, and you can add them to this mod. Well, stalkers, we are halfway through this video, so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my content. I do a lot of stalker anomaly videos and guides, and I love testing new bots and show them to the stalker community. Next, we got something super basic. You'll find this mod in many mod packs. It's the cozy campfires. Cozy campfires allow you to heal slowly when you're next to a campfire. You might think this is a bit silly, but sometimes you can't always fight all the time. You need to eat and take a break when you have the opportunity to do so. And this will save you a lot of stim packs and first aids. There are many versions of cozy campfires. Some of them will also reduce your radiation very slowly. But this version, in my opinion, is the most needed and the most realistic. Another small animation, very immersive mod, is the Weapon Cover Tilt. Weapon Cover Tilt allows your character to tilt his weapon when you're close to an object. It adds a lot of tactical immersion. This mod uses a system that is already present in Stalker Anomaly, but it adds a small animation to make your character tilt his weapon in close proximity of the object. There are many patches that allow modded weapons to work with weapon cover tilt. Also, weapons can include some patches in their own weapon mods, so make sure to check them out. Sometimes you want to repair an item without taking it to a technician, because maybe that area was taken by your enemies. You can use a mod called Use Toolbox Anywhere. This mod allows you to use all the toolboxes and repair items yourself. No need to go to a technician if you have all the items that you need. This mod is perfect if you want to set up a hideout somewhere and be independent from your faction. Speaking of being independent, you can also use Interactive PDA. Now the Interactive PDA mod probably needs a whole video to explain everything that it does. Because it's a small mod in size, but it adds a lot of things to the PDA. First you get a lot more extra missions that you can do, and you also don't need to be near a trader or an NPC to accept these missions. You can also accept missions like bounties or guard duty, which is perfect for warfare mode. The more money you get, the more squads you can buy, so it's really worth it. You also have an SOS button on your PDA, so if you need to help clearing out a sector, you can press that SOS button and rally your faction stalkers to you. It also has an inbuilt Amazon style shop system with delivery to the location that you want. I love this mod, it allows me to buy certain guns and attachments that I like. Sometimes I also buy supplies when I can with this mod. It has a lot of options in the MCM menu. Again, if you combine this interactive PDA mod with Toolbox Anywhere, you can become very independent from the traders. Last but not least, this is a very new mod, it's called Redone Combat AI. Very similar to Mora AI cover, but it makes stalkers a lot more tactical. Usually I use Mora's AI cover, which makes combat a lot more difficult. I will take a lot more cover behind objects. Redone Combat AI takes this to a whole new level. AI will not only take cover, but they will wait for each other to fight off any thread. If one stalker is reloading, the other one will cover him or support him with suppressive fire. Stalkers will now also spread and take different pets to take out their enemies. The mod also takes account of what type of stalker it is. If the AI notice that it is a stalker with a heavy 
or exosuit armor, they will send this stalker to the front, while telling the other stalkers to cover him. They will also use a lot more grenades, if you are trying to hide somewhere. Firefights will be more intense, and also they will take a lot longer, which makes warfare mode a lot more harder and interesting with this mod. Make sure to only activate one of these mods, because more as AI and this mod will conflict with each other, so make sure that it's only one that is active at a time. I tested this mod also with stealth mod and they work very well together. Hope you found this mod list useful. If you have any questions about these mods or any other options write down here below in the comments. I have a lot more exciting content for stalkers so make sure to subscribe and follow me on YouTube. Bye and thank you for watching.